I love us. When I first heard those words, I thought they were the corniest three little words I ever heard in my life. You like it? I, I love it. I love us. Who says that? I know it's not much, but... I don't need a ring to know how you feel. I don't need anything. That look in your eyes says it all. Deposit's not refundable. We'll take it. If you would have told me five years ago, those three little words would be the most important words of my life one day, I would have told you three other little words. Shut the fuck up! Well, technically four. What? I'm just saying, Sammy, this fucking guy should have been closed an hour ago. We're sitting here like a bunch of yutzes waiting for these fucking lovebirds to split. Gotta piss so bad I can taste it. Are you finished? Well, I, I, I'm just saying, we could have been in and out already. Waiting's a part of the business, Richie. Yeah, waiting. Waiting. I mean, one minute we're cocked and loaded, and the next minute we're watching some fucking asshole overcompensating with his side piece for an hour. One minute can change everything. Just so we're clear, this mook is not my partner. We're not even friends. He's an associate, an overglorified co worker. Okay, here he goes. Bring the car around. All right, five minutes. Right out front. Five, five minutes. I heard you. Five minutes. I don't like blood. And for a job like this, there's no need for any. So I bring this box. Nobody pisses their pants at the side of a box. Everybody loves boxes. It reminds them of their birthdays or Christmas. Everybody loves Christmas. You're lucky I'm still here. A gun, though, has a very different and specific effect on people. Nobody likes guns, especially when they're pointed at their fat belly. The difference between a good thief and a hack is simple. Greed. You get greedy, you get sloppy. We could have cleaned this guy out and kept the change. But the job is the safe. So that's all we're taking. What's the difference between a good thief and a great one? The getaway. I wasn't kidding when I said that one minute can change everything. But I was wrong. It only took a second. Hey. Hey. She could have trademarked that smile. Wanna get off? <laughs> no, I, I'm not that type of girl, sorry. No, 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 not get off. You wanna get off the bus? Maybe we can get some dinner. Can't. Girls gotta work. Work? Now? Yeah. 
You? I just got off work. Lucky you. Yeah. Lucky was an understatement. Where do you work? Vincent's. Vincent's? Mm-hmm. Wait, just... Yeah. What time are you getting off? <laughs> Ten. Ten? Maybe I'll come have some dinner. I love Vincent's. I hate Vincent's. An Italian restaurant with nothing but non-Italians. They can cook some pretty incredible shit, but nobody messes up a plate of pasta like Vincent's. Hi. What can I get you? Ooh, the caprese. Great choice. Fettuccine, no problem. The food might be a nightmare, but the service is an absolute dream. Hey! Hi. So tell me, what is it that you do, Sammy? Me? Mm-hmm. I'm a thief. I'm a diamond dealer. Hmm. Girl's best friend. That's right. <laughs> well, it looks like you enjoy the finer things in life. That's also right. But why did you take the bus? Too many DUIs? No, 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 nothing serious like that, no. Having to lie to her tore me apart even then. Cars in the shop, engine trouble. Really? Yeah. Me too, suspension. Look at that. You know what they call that? What? Serendipity. Serendipity. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the serendipity. Cheers. Cheers, Laura. Fenton, right? That's right. <laughs> Whew, what a day. Make some money? You made a little bit. Okay, well, you look good doing it. Mm-hmm. I love us. I didn't know it then, but that was the beginning of my life. You okay? Um... You remember I told you about, about my husband? Yeah. Pancreatic cancer. What a shit show. She said he didn't go without a fight, and they fought it right through the end. That was nine years ago, but I could tell she was still fighting. There's something that I haven't told you. You don't have to do that, Laura. You want to see how this goes? It's in those photos. And listen, I've... This has been great. I've had an amazing time. I don't remember the last time I've laughed so much. But I'm not interested in wasting anyone's time. And if this is... um, if this is a problem for you, then um, I understand. No. They're beautiful. I want to see where this goes. I really do. I love you. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Who is this one? This is Rachel. She looks like you. That's Audrey. I'm here. The long one. Thank you. Love makes you say some stupid shit, right? But at least I wasn't lying to her. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
So, are you Italian? Uh, no. Everyone asks me that I'm actually Israeli. Sammy's, um, he's actually from Brooklyn. New York. Yeah. Have you guys ever been? No. Dad always wanted to go to New York. Yes, yes, he did. You're a lot shorter than Dad. Rachel! What? No, 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 it's totally fine. Yeah, uh, I'm a lot shorter than a lot of people. Go set the dinner table, please. Now. <sighs> I'm so sorry. No, oh, no, it's fine. No. I'm sure it's not easy enough. You're sweet. I'm gonna go check on dinner. Rachel. This is delicious, it really is. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Like it, I love it. <laughs> it's just meatloaf. Just meatloaf, it's a masterpiece. <sighs> Mom's meatloaf is lit. Meatloaf can't be lit. Yes, it can. No, it can't, that doesn't make sense. It means it's really good. You know what it means? There's no competition, it's the best meatloaf I've ever had in my life. The best. Mm. So are you. Hmm. Mm. Well, wait till you taste dessert. We made cupcakes. It's exactly what you need, Audrey. More cupcakes. Shut up. Girls. Make sure not to get too many crumbs on mom while you're kissing her ass. Rachel. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Cheers, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Cheers. Nice meeting you, Audrey. You too. You're really brave, you know that? Really? Mm. I guess. I'm serious. Can't be easy for you either. I mean, I must seem like an intruder to these girls, right? Mm. They'll be fine. It's just gonna take some time. I thought they were gonna fall in love with me on first sight, just like you did. <laughs> you know, on the bus, when I first saw you, I kind of thought you were a creep. A creep? <laughs> really? I did. You're lucky I didn't have my other purse with my pepper spray and taser. Ooh, pepper spray. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I am. You are what? Lucky. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> and I love you. And I love you. I could have married her right then and there. But I married her a year later. Her mother, who we barely got up the stairs. Even her junkie brother was there. Nice guy, but a hot mess. In front of her girls. All these people showed up to see us. I love us. And all I can think about is that one person who didn't. Pops, what are you doing? That's for the job. And here. From me. Wedding gift. You know, showing up to the wedding would have been a good gift. You know that, right, Pop? Uh, don't be so sure. I haven't seen what's inside the envelope. <laughs> Thank you, Pop. I appreciate it. So... Look at this. I don't know what your mother would have felt about you marrying a Goya, but I'm sure the food was good. Food was great. Mom would have loved it. Maybe. 
I mean, you know your mother better than I did. You're gonna love her too, Pops. She's awesome. She really is. How are the kids? Oof. Kids, tough. Big one, Rachel hates my guts. It's like I killed her dad myself. The little one, Audrey, is really sweet. But, you know, it's just tough. New guy coming in. That age, it's not easy. You want some advice? No, 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 no. Don't be their friend. They got friends. What part of uh, I don't want any advice don't you understand? They don't need a friend. They need a father. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. This is a good lead. Take a look. Stake it out, take Richie with you. No, 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 I don't like Richie. What's with you in liking all of a sudden? Huh? You don't have to like him, right? You don't have to go camping with the guy. You sit in the back seat, I tell you. I do, he doesn't stop asking questions. Well, then stop answering them, then. Huh? <laughs> it's very easy to say. The guy is unbelievable. Look, I told you that I'm gonna look out for you, right? Okay. You bang out a few more jobs, you'll be square with Ira before you know it. I know, Pops, I appreciate it, I really do. It's just, I can't lie to Laura anymore. Lying? You tell her you work here, right? Yeah, I tell her I work here, but... Well, then, get to work. Can't lie to her. I can't lie to those girls. I mean, that's... That's my life now, you know? Sammy, I know that we throw the word job around here a lot, okay? But this isn't what you do, it's who you are. You want some more advice? No, please. Just tell her. You want that life, you got to come clean. You build it on a foundation of bullshit. That life will come tumbling down one day, right on top of your head. And you won't be able to do a damn thing about it. Except try to take the hit. I guess, I don't know. I don't know, Pops. Growing up, I didn't need a friend either. But as far as fathers go, mine definitely made a better boss. The name he just dropped is why my posture's so fucked up these days. Ira Prince, great guy. But Ira always had one hand in someone's pocket and another wrapped gently around their throats. And his grip never felt tighter. I was a gambler, yeah. a good one, yeah. Yeah. which means I was also a bad one. When I would hit, I would live it up like a goddamn king. <laughs> but when I got hit, you've never seen a sore loser. Eat the soap. One day I got hit really bad, and I not only lost my money, I lost my friend's money. And I lost Ira's money. Ira and my dad go way back, so as a favor to him, he took it easy on me. He agreed to let me pay him back in installments. They say that if you do something for 10,000 hours, you become a professional, right? Well, I became a fucking professional. What do we got? Now, why do you have to sit in the back seat like I'm your fucking chauffeur? Technically, that's what you are, no? Technically, an asshole is what you are. What do we have, Richie? What's going on over here? Explain to me, please. I never liked pawn shops. There's always one idiot that wants to play the hero. You got Chubby over there. He comes out for a smoke break about every 15 minutes. He's got a partner inside. That guy comes out at the end of the day, though, all right? If I wanted to put this light behind me, I gotta stop taking small time and start thinking big time. Hey, sweetie. Um, did you forget that we have dinner tonight? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I, I didn't forget. You know that I said dinner at 7 with the girls, right? No, no, I promise. OK, I love you. I love you too, sweetie. I'll see you soon. OK. I'll be in a little bit. OK, bye. OK, bye. Yo, I got to go. Listen, you're doing a great job. Keep an eye on them, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thought I was just a driver. You are just a driver, Richie. This was it. Time to decide if I played the friend card or the dad card. As long as I didn't play the vomit card. I feel like really mean to him. 
And that's Dude, why. Dude, how old are you? Hey. Hi. 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 How's your day? Good. Hi, girls. Hi. What's with the teddy bear? We're having a teddy talk. Shit. I was playing with the wrong fucking deck. A teddy talk? Yeah. Teddy. He helps us get things off of our chest in a safe and controlled manner. Also helps us, you know, with big family announcements. Are we gonna go to Disneyland? I'll just shut up. up. No. We're not going to Disneyland. Um... Listen, um... I know the last few years uh, have been tough, and... Well, I... I've been thinking, and, and I've... What your mom was trying to say... Shh. This is so dumb. Shh. I, you're not allowed to talk unless you have Teddy. I'm so sorry. That would never happen yeah. again. Please. That way everyone is heard, right? Without being interrupted. Anyways, um, Sammy and I, we have been talking, and um, he's my husband now, so... Why are you being so weird? I'm not being weird. You're being really weird. No. <laughs> I'm not. I, I, what I'm trying to say is... Is Sammy and I, we've been talking and, well, I, he's a part of our family now and he's an important part. And I want, we want to know what you feel about him um, becoming your father. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke actually, Rach. Mom, tell me you're, you're joking. No, sweetheart. I'm not. Sorry. Rachel! Rachel! still need to come in, so we'll see what happens. But I'm in it for the long run, so. What? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Times didn't always suck. Sometimes they started to look up. And we started to feel like a family. surprising her and nothing felt better than to see her get a new car one more step okay okay, okay. Step. okay, okay. one more okay, okay. are you ready i think so <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh you like it sammy oh my gosh it's beautiful it's yours girls girls come here oh my gosh she was so happy And we finally felt like a family. Go, 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 go,
This is the most amazing car I've ever been in. <laughs> You guys gonna get your license? She looked so beautiful in that car. Would you like to drive the car? <gasps> no. Wait, why not? Good night, Audrey. Good night, Sammy. Sweet dreams, honey. He really cares about you, though. Can I read you? He's trying to. Good night, Mom. Good night, sweetheart. She said to say good night. No, she didn't. She did? No, she didn't. <laughs> okay, no, she didn't. But maybe you, um, maybe you want to tuck me in. Mm, I'll talk to you. Mm -hmm. All day, every day. <laughs> no musty. Thanks. Itchy. You sure there's only two guys in there? Yeah. Fat guy looks like trouble. You think you can handle him? What's there to handle? Put my gun in his mouth and I tell the fat fuck what's what. He's gonna understand. What are you gonna do if you try something stupid? Well, then I try something stupid first. Listen, I don't want any shooting on this, okay? I'm serious. If he gets out of line, if he says something stupid, you talk louder and you hit him with a fucking gun over the head. I heard what happened with Lana. I should have had my head examined sitting in the car with this guy, let alone do a job with him. What'd you hear? Enough to know I don't want him fucking shooting this week. It was an accident. That's even fucking worse. I'm actually doing it on purpose. So what fuck you, Sammy, because you weren't there. A bad feeling before a job is never good. But a full-blown sign from God himself... What the fuck you doing? That's something else entirely. God. Holy shit, go, 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 go! What? Start what? the car, go, go! Oh my god. What about your car? Go, 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 go! I'll pick it up later. Um, give me a second. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> I don't care what the fuck he said. To me, it doesn't matter. What's the problem? Job's off, I'm not doing it. Why not? Doesn't feel right. Some of my gut tells me not to do this one, Pops. Richie, put the napkin down, please. Oh. And what does your gut tell you? My gut? Looks like a piece of cake to me. What do I know, right? Sammy, do the job. I'm not doing this job, Pops. Seriously. Uh. Gotta give me something bigger. Bigger? Yeah, big enough. Uh, big enough for what? Big enough so I don't have to do this shit anymore. Penny dime shit. Can't do this. Can't can't lie to Laura anymore. So tell her the truth. Can't do that. Sammy, you're trying to be a better man, okay? Yeah. She can't hate you for that. Hold on. Hello? Sammy Silver. This is Dr. Beal from the medical center. There's been an accident. And just like that, the world dropped away from me. They said the driver was drunk. She didn't see it coming. For the first time in my life, I had nothing to say.
These girls were the only thing that I had left. That reminded me of her. There's a secret we don't know. Fireflies, virgin snow. How the wind knows when to blow. Know the lights coming home. We're all getting older. Rivers carving borders. We can turn this thing around. Take me to your leader. At your left to meet her. Maybe slow this whole thing down. Signs, if you're in. Breakfast? Mm-hmm. All right, sit down. I'm coming. Okay. I just sleep. It's okay. Eggs? Sure. Where's your sister? She's still asleep. Scrambled, okay? Breakfast? Sure. <laughs> so, I took the day off from work. We can do anything you guys want. Can we go to Disneyland? Okay, we got one for Disneyland. What are you thinking? How about the beach? Beach? Yeah, Mom loved the beach. She did? Yeah. Arch, can we take a rain check on Disneyland? Can I make the sandwiches? <sighs> Please make the sandwiches. Okay. All right, you guys, you guys eat up and, um, 
eat up and I'm in a shower and just wash up. I went to bed so late. All right, enjoy it. I told her I hated the beach, couldn't stand the heat, but I could see why she loved it. How was it? It's good. It was cold. <laughs> Cougar water is really cold. You guys, yeah. you guys hungry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, why don't you guys eat some? Thank you. Thanks for making these. Yeah, of course. They're really good. I just had. Yeah. Mom always said you made the best sandwiches. I wish you'd head back in a little bit, right? Guys, get in the house. Who is that? It's just a work thing. Get in the house. Go straight to your room. Go ahead. Boss wants to see you. You know how long I've been waiting here? Long fucking time, that's how long. Sorry. Just, uh, busting your balls, kid. I'm sorry for him, yes. I really am. If anything you need, I... Uh... I'm okay. Thank you. Cried yet? Cry? You should find a spot. Just let it all out. Maybe in your car, maybe in... in the shower. Showers are great for crying. Um, I asked uh, Harvey uh, for an update, and he told me that uh, he couldn't reach you. Sorry about that. It's I took the girls to the beach and to get some food, get some fresh air. So I didn't pick up my phone. Uh, listen. You take some time, get your head straight, do what you need to do, and when you're ready, you'll get back to work. Hmm? Thank you. And, uh... No, no, I can't, I can't take that. Oh, come on. Come on. Give those kids some pizza, something. Thank you. Gangsters are a funny breed. Some of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. You almost forget that they're stone cold killers. And, uh, Sammy? You stay reachable? Yes, sir. Almost. Give it, to, give it to Teddy Bear. What happened? She's acting like a fucking little kid. Why are you taking her son? Watch your mouth. You're acting like a child. No, are you serious right now? What are you doing? God, I'm the one holding the fucking bear. Both of you shut the fuck up. Watch your language. You're scaring your sister. Give me the teddy bear. She's my sister, not your daughter, and you're not my father. You will never be my father. Did you really think one picnic and one ice cream was going to fucking fix everything? Give me the teddy bear, Rach. You're the reason my mom's dead. Rachel! Can you fix it?
crazy when someone's gone, just like that, right off the face of the earth. And all that's left are a bunch of pictures on your phone and some shaky video footage. God, I missed her. The doorbell ringing this early is either a delivery, Jehovah's Witness, or bad news. Yeah, I'm coming. This looked like bad news. Mr. Silverman? Yeah? Maria Campos, Child Protective Services. Oh, that's my guy out there, just in case. Just for what? Just in case. This is a joke, right? This is not a joke, Mr. Silverman. The girls need to come with us. I'll give you a minute to get their things together and say your goodbyes. No, 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 it's not happening. Those are my girls in there. Actually, they're not. Until your case is finalized, the girls need to stay with family. This is happening. We'll schedule the evaluations as soon as possible and get all of the paperwork in order. Look, the best case scenario, this is temporary. And the worst case scenario? Let's just see what happens. What happens? This woman coming into my house talking about family, family. I'm their family. What other family do they have? I mean, where are they gonna stay? Their grandmother lives in a home. I am not at liberty to say. There was only one other family member I can think of at that moment. I mean, I was still a bit drunk. Right in that moment, I had an idea. What if they, what if they lived with family? That's what I just said. No, no, no. What if they lived with family here in the house with me? Oh, well, I mean, I guess technically that... Technically is good then. Technically is good. I, I gotta make a phone call. Would you come in for a minute? Uh, okay. Can you stay out here? Sure. Okay, please come, five minutes. I, I just gotta call somebody. Is there anything I can get you? No, please don't worry about me. I'm good, thank you. Sure, okay, yes. thank you. There he is. Hey, there's a huge guy on you. I know, I know, I know. Come, come inside, I gotta answer. Oh. Is this grass real? Oh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, Maria, this is Rob Fenton. This is Maria Campos from, uh, CPS. I was telling you on the phone. Right. Hi, Mr. Fenton. Right. Would you like something to drink? Uh... Want some orange juice? I'll get you some orange juice. Oh, that looks different here. Freshly squeezed. There you go. Thanks. Rob, listen. Mrs. Uh, Miss... Um, Miss. Miss Compass is here. She's helping me with the adoption papers. The only way the girls can actually live here with me is if there's a family member living here. That's correct. Correct? Yes. I mean, everyone's been through so much, especially the girls. Wow, that's really good juice. You like that orange juice? You can have as much orange juice as you want. But I already have a place. Yeah, but this is just a couple weeks. Yeah, maybe more. And if the papers go through, it, you know, it's a process. If the paperwork goes through, well, I'm sure it's gonna go through, right? We'll see, we just take it one day at a time. So it's temporary? It's definitely temporary. Uncle Ron? Hey. Look at you. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. What are you doing here? I invited your uncle for uh, breakfast. Yeah, I'm, I'm having orange juice. How do you stay? What? How do you stay? Who's Teddy? It's just, it's not, it's a teddy bear. Uh, honey, can you do me a favor? Can you please give us a minute? Why not? 
Okay. See you. Uh, so we good? Yeah, we're good. Well, I just have to update your paperwork, but we should be good. And I'll have to run a quick background check on Mr. Fenton. Background check? Yes. We'll keep in touch, Mr. Silverman. Uh, Silver. Right. Okay, thank you. So you'll call me? I will. Okay, great. I worked very hard to stay clean on paper. You look me up anywhere and I'm basically squeaky clean. But this guy... You're clean? Yeah, I got allergies. Allergies. That's why I'm sniffing them. Okay, good. Yeah. Rachel! Your uncle's here! Rachel's here? Yeah, Sid, I'll tell you everything. Uncle Rob! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm hanging. <laughs> we'll get it next time. What are you doing here? Hanging out. Yeah. Your uncle's gonna live with us. Really? For a little bit, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Okay. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> Shut up. It's crazy how much she looks like her. It's crazy. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this. It means a lot. I'd do anything for them. I know. I'll get you set up. If you need anything, just let me know. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. All I knew about Rob is that he loved his sister, and she loved him. Now I gotta go hide all my valuables. You guys got any coffee? <laughs> Why? No? Yes. Black, okay? Please. You guys don't eat, ever? how much you look like her. Sammy. Right? Yeah, you really do. I'm not her. I know. I, I didn't I didn't mean it. I know. What you meant. Audrey looks like Dad. It's hard to forget someone when you see them every day. Well, you're not supposed to forget. You're supposed to remember. Yeah, well, remembering sucks. I'm gonna make some coffee. You guys want some, Rachel? No, I'm good. All right, movie marathon tonight. Yeah? We stay up late, popcorn, burping, farting. She's no. been farting all night, so. No, that We're... was Teddy's corpse. Teddy's <laughs> <That's> his ghost. <laughs> Yeah. Excuses. Mm-hmm. It's a school night. School? Don't you guys get, like, time to, to grieve and stuff? No. They missed enough school already. It's one more day, Sammy. What's the difference? Can we? Please? What a nightmare. I was trying to move a few steps forward with these kids, and he was knocking me 10 steps back every time he opened his mouth. You guys can do marathon night on the weekend. How about that? This weekend? It's like Tuesday. <laughs> Whatever. But I had an ace up my sleeve. Yeesh. This should definitely work. I really got to stop drinking. All right, here we are. You guys all set? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll pick you guys up later, and uh, we'll go have dinner wherever you want. Okay. Bye, Sammy. Bye, OG. You know, next time you take us to school, how about you drop us off on time? Sorry. It's okay. Yo. I've been calling you for two days, and this is how you answer. I'm sorry. Just so busy with these girls. No, no, I understand that, son, all right? But <laughs> this is important, all right? We need to talk. About what? Something big, Sammy. Okay. 
All right, give me like 30 minutes. Hey. How you doing? You had me rushing over here. You know how you make the perfect cup of tea? What? Timing. <laughs> Go ahead, open it. What is it? You'll see. Omar Al Said. I don't know who that is. You're not supposed to know who he is. What you need to know is what he has hanging on his walls. That piece sold to an anonymous buyer last year for a little over 50 million. All right, the art world is crawling with rich lunatics, and I got one ready to take that off our hands once it is in our hands. 50 million? What's our take? I haven't figured it all out yet, but it's gonna be big. I'm sure a guy like that has a lot of security with him. Mm, let's take it out, all right? See what your balls say. There's always a way around them, you know? Always is. I hated to admit it, but the old man was right. This could be the job to end all jobs. The take could be five million easy. But bigger paydays come with bigger risks. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, of course. <laughs> you waited too long, huh? You know, your mother got me into tea. I was a pure coffee guy when we met. Black, no fucking around. Yeah, she changed me in many ways. And some things she couldn't change. Pop, let me ask you, how did you ever tell her about the business? I didn't. She found out. Wait, I thought you told her. That's why she left. Oh, she found out. She was more hurt that I didn't tell her what I was doing than she was about what I was doing. You know, Sammy, once trust goes out the door, everything else follows. You never thought about walking away? Oh, no. This is all I know. I never wanted you to be part of this life. But I didn't want to hide it from you either. And now this is all you know. But you know you have a choice to make now, son. I think I know. This looks great, Dad. This, we pull off. You don't have to worry. We can take care of those kids, take care of Ira, have the life you want. That's exactly what I've been looking for. I appreciate Pop. You always look out for me. You really do. Love you, Pop. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at this and I'll call you. Love you. good sign. It means big house with big money. But it also means big trouble. Getting on the other side of that gate is going to be a fucking nightmare. Hello? Mr. Silverman. What? I need you to come to the school right now. Okay, I'm coming. What exactly did she do? She vandalized school property. She broke into the gym's equipment locker and then punctured every single one of the school's basketballs with this. Is this from your home, Mr. Silverman? Yeah, that's mine. Normally, I would push for immediate suspension or even expulsion. But considering the recent tragic circumstances, and the fact that, Rachel, you've always been a fine student. I'm going to show some leniency here. Thank you. You'll be getting a bill for all the damages. 
It'll do some good for Rachel to stay home for a couple more days. And her sister, too. What does Audrey have to do with this? They're hurting. They need to stay home. They need to take this all in. I know she knows better than this. But, um, you just send me the bill and I'll, I'll take care of it. And I really appreciate it. Can we please go home now? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. That won't happen again. Reach. Why the basketballs? Yeah, why'd you do that? I thought you loved basketball. She does? Yeah. You do? Not anymore. You know how much trouble you're in? You know how much money it's gonna cost me? Do you have any idea how much money it's gonna cost me? I honestly don't care. Straight to your room. Rob! The thing about ex-junkies is that nine out of ten, their old habits never die. Rob! It's just a matter of opportunity. In a matter of time before history starts repeating itself. Hey, put your feet down. What are you doing? Just, uh, just regrouping. Are you high? Are you high? I think I'm sunstroke. I've been out here for hours. Sunstroke, yeah. Maybe it's your allergies, huh? Yeah. I mean, this trees, the flowers, the pollens in the pool. You know? Could be it. If CPS shows up and they see you high as a fucking guy, what do you think they're gonna do? The only reason these girls get to live here is because you're here. What are you thinking? I didn't take that much. You didn't take much. Well, I'm sorry I'm overreacting here. You want these girls to see you like this? Cool old Uncle Rob? High as a fucking kite? I don't want drugs in this house, you hear me? I don't give a fuck if it's up your nose, in your pocket, in the living room. This is a no drug zone. You can't follow those rules. You need to get the fuck out. Wake up. Rachel! Good night. Good night. We'll go to the movies tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, yeah, I swear. Tomorrow. Promise? I promise. Okay. We'll do it tomorrow. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's all gone. I'm off it. Mazel tov. You know, alcohol is a pretty big vice. Just saying. It's better than crack. Yeah, it's not crack. Mind if I... Knock yourself out? Just a little one. Oof. God, I think I'll stick to crack. Huh? You know, my sister always knew what to say. Always knew what to do to get me off that shit. Just a few words. I'd be off of it, cold turkey. 
till I wasn't, of course. But she never gave up on me. She always stood by me. Then she'd say a few things and I'd be off of it again. Your sister was tired, Rob. Yeah, I know. I mean, she tried everything and she just, she always came back. She always went back. She was stronger than all of us, right? Yeah. Yes, she was. To Laura? Fucking miss her, man. Me too. Those girls miss her. Damn it, you're doing a good job with them. You really are. I'm trying. After very little thought, I decided to take the painting job. Decided it was an understatement. How many you see? Two. Look again. Still? Yes. It's gonna be easier to go over the wall than go over that fence. I'm just saying. All right, let's get out of here. I brought the genius with me for the first takeout and quickly realized that if this was gonna work, I was gonna need a proper crew. Harvey hooked me up with lunch in the lead. There's David Dallas from Milwaukee. He's in town for a little business, but he's always up for a little something on the side. David Dallas. You wouldn't know by looking at this guy, but Dallas was military. Train killer. If anyone can help us with our security problems, it was Dallas. Excuse me, uh, mademoiselle. When you have a moment, no rush. I would like a, another espresso. Merci. Great guy. Amazing manners. But if you want his shit list, his sweet disposition went out the window. Quiet. With all fairness, if Dallas showed up at your door unannounced, you had it coming. You, know, you don't need a big crew. You got Dallas taking care of security, Rishi's keeping the car running, and you need one more thing. What's that? A decoy. Ruby Ellis, a working girl. I know Omar's favorite flavor. Ruby was our decoy. Ruby was gonna get Omar out of the house and give us enough time to make the grab. Stop. The only thing is, she wanted a fee and a cut, and she wanted that fee up front. Speak of the devil. Come in. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> you want something to eat? I'm good. You sure? You know what I like. Al Sayyid has a classic weakness and one that we can fully exploit. She's gonna keep Omar very busy, okay? So we'll have enough time to make the grab. But you think you'll be up for a date? Omar, <laughs> he's always up for me. <laughs> I like. Right? How much? Small fee, small cut. Up front, right? Always. <laughs> the American dream. Sounds about right. Bueno. It was so nice to meet you, Sammy. Nice to meet you. See you later, Daddy. All right, baby. Take care. I felt like I was getting five different diseases just sitting there. Now I had a crew on a timeline, and all I needed was a babysitter.
Where's your uncle? Outside. What are you guys doing? What does it look like? You don't have to be so mean. It's annoying. Hey. Hey. Look at me. I'm clean as a whistle. I promise. Serious? Yeah. My head feels like it got cracked open like a coconut, but I'm good. It's OJ. Straight up, just the way I like it. It is OJ. Proud of you. Yeah, well, I'm not doing it for you. Doing it for those girls in there. I know. That's what I want to talk to you about. What's up? I got this job I got to do. You got this job you got to do. And I want to make sure you can take care of the girls for me. Do you really feel good about leaving those girls with their degenerate uncle? No. <laughs> when you put it like that, no. No, I'm serious. Say yes or no. Yes, I can do it. Beautiful. Thank you. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. OK, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Duty calls? You're a real asshole and you're sober, but I'm proud of you. Give me one. Thanks. Thank you. I'll let you know exactly what they... Keep it up. Rob didn't know exactly what I did, but he definitely knew I was in the shade. But as long as he didn't ask any tough questions, I didn't have to come up with some tough answers. Audrey, I gotta run for a little bit. Can you do me a favor and hold down the court? Yeah, sure. Wait, are you serious? Great, so you're the boss. Oh, you're putting her in charge? What about Uncle Rob? Keep an eye on him, too. Oh, wait, I, I don't need a babysitter. Uh, I think you do. This is bullshit. Language. Richie. Yeah? You see the street? Yeah. All right, you can see it by that. It's a red barn-looking thing. Right. All right, that's a good spot to hide. You understand? Make sure you get all the entrance and exits. Those guys there. You see any street lights? Not right now, no, there's not there. You know, David, go up there. Go up there with, show him this and take some pictures of that, all right? Because you have to be there. That takes about a minute and a half. I timed it the other day. I can work with this though, guys. Yeah? Yeah. We'll take more pictures. It's very doable. Where are they going? I, I want him to take some pictures of there. I spoke to my guy. I got a figure. And? What, five, six million? Slushy million. 30 million? They shouldn't tell a thing. 30. 30 million dollars. <laughs> he wasn't kidding about keeping it between us. The others would get a nice, decent cut. And I can pay Ira in full. And still walk away with a stupid amount. You know, it's time for both of us to give up this life. I'm gonna throw in the towel as well. Throwing in the towel? Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to all the speeches you used to tell me in the office? <laughs> this is all I know, this is my life. I know, I know, but you know, they sent me 30 million. You can be whoever you want to be. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Pops. You know, Samuel, when your mother left me, I got angry. I kept busy nonstop. And then when she got sick and died, I feel guilt. All right. I know. Keep going. It's time that we don't go anymore. You understand, both of us. All right. What a fucking crock of shit. They want more pictures. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. Well, you're not relaxing. Yeah, something's not right. Okay? We're supposed to be a crew, and they're keeping us out of the loop. What loop? You're the fucking driver. What more do you need to know? Make sure there's gas in the fucking car and relax, okay? Don't worry about the fucking loop. The fucking loop? What the hell is that? I'm gonna say it again. Don't you say it. I'm fucking saying it. Don't you fucking say it! Relax. Fucker, come on, I'll show you relax. Let's go. Where are you going? Jesus 
go around to the other side, right? See if we can get some shots over there. Whoa! What happened? Rachel what? ran away. What? Oh, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna find her. Don't worry about it. Everything's I don't know fine. What, what happened? happened? She, she was, was upset. I, I asked her what was going on, and she freaked out. She just left. Okay, fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh shit! Audrey, you need to calm down. Just when we leave, okay? Hi. Hi, Mr. Hi. Silverman. Hi. Did I catch you guys at a bad time? Uh, no. It's just um, there's a spider in the house. A spider? Yeah, like a. Big spider. Huge. I'm afraid of spiders, too. Yeah. <laughs> she hates them. So how are you liking living with your uncle and Sammy? Um, it's been fine. It's fine? Um, it's been fine. It's fine? I have fun. It's been fun. It's great. Where's your sister? Rach is, uh, Rach was in the shoes. She's in the shower. She's taking a shower right now. Yeah. Would you like to go get her for me? I'd like to speak with her, too. I don't know, teenage girls, you know, with the creams and the <laughs> shaving. I don't know what <laughs> she's doing in there, really. It's going right. to be a while. OK, well, I won't keep you much longer. I was just checking in. Thank you. Uh, any news? Not yet, but soon, I hope. Me, too. OK, then. Have a good night. Thank you. you. Thank it was you. good to see you. Calm down. I'm gonna go find her. Everything's gonna be fine, okay? Yeah, yeah. We're fine. Uh, we're fine. Safe. Thanks. Hey, uh, I think I know where she might be. Where I'm thinking? Yeah. All right, go back in the house. I'm gonna call you. I got you. All right, let's go. Oh. Hey. How come this bull doesn't have a puncture? Give it back. Come and take it. Come and take it. No? You know, when I was your age, basketball saved my life. I was a bad kid. I hung out with really bad people. And basketball was the only thing that kept me on track. You can't run away anymore, H. This was his ball. We come out here and shoot for hours. Just the two of us. It was our thing. And I could talk to him about anything. And he'd always listen to me. Not fake listen, you know? I know you're hurting. And I know I'm probably not your favorite person in the world right now. And I'll never be your dad, but... I can promise you one thing, that you don't have to go through anything alone ever again. I'll always be here with you. If you want to come out here and play basketball, if that makes you feel better, do it. If you want to puncture every one of those balls, go ahead. I'll even hold that ball for you, and you do it at the house. But you got to come home at some point. Your sister misses you like crazy. She's crying. Can you show me how to do that two shot? Really? Yeah. I'll show you my favorite move. All right, do it. OK. Let's see it. Up the middle. Bam! <laughs> Come here. I love you. Oh, Hold this. Let me get my jacket. All right. This was it. Game day. I'm not gonna lie, this was always my favorite part. All right, guys, listen up. He's got two guys on the road time. A date night's not gonna change anything. Where is he taking you for dinner? 
Somewhere with room service? Original? Classy. Dinner's gonna last longer than him, so. All right, so there's not gonna be a lot of time. All right, so make sure, Ruby, that you, you text me the minute the fun time is over. You got it. Okay. He's got two guys with him at all times, like I said. One's on the inside, one's on the outside. Yeah, they never stray too far from one another, so when they get close enough, I'll take them both out. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, take out? Take out what? Take them out. What'd you hire me for? To teach them a magic trick? No, no, no. This, this is clean, Dallas. I want this clean. Yeah, no guns on this, please. These guys are packing heavy, no doubt about it. Richie, we're going light on this. All right. It's OK. We'll use tasers and zip ties then, all right? It won't be a problem. All right. Now, what about the guy on the inside? We don't have any guns. I guess we got to go with a ding-dong ditch. <laughs> What's that? You know, it's the same thing as a ring and run kind of thing. You knock on the door. When he answers, boom, zip goes the weasel. It's pop. Pop goes the weasel. Clean, perfect. All right, cameras, inside, outside, all over the property. What are we doing about that? I know a guy who knows a guy. Of course you do. Look, you're going to have 30 minutes from the time the lights go out. But that's our window. So make sure you have watch and synchronize. You understand? All right, Richie, listen. You sit in the car, engine running, right? Once the lights go down, Dallas is going to go in, knock the guards out. I come in, steal the painting, and we meet back at the house. Easy peasy. All right. Any questions? Is, it, is that everything? Because, like, I kind of have to go get ready. Yeah, we should all go. You know, I, I got a question. Just one. So, uh... I took the time to do a little research about these paintings and you know, what they might go for. And oh, fuck me. I mean, these things are worth a lot. So, what's the question? Well, what I'm saying is that maybe we're being a little shortchanged. I mean, what if one of our paintings are worth that much, right? And if I get 5%, and when I do the math, bang, bang, mm. bang, it just, you know, <laughs> doesn't really add up. So, what I'm trying to say is, you got me on a fucking discount. You know, Richie. Bang, bang, bang. This is no time to be negotiating salaries, OK? You're going to do very well, please. Pops, the guy's getting 5% for sitting in a car. For God's sakes, I do less on my knees. How about you, Dallas? What do you feel about 5%, huh? You, you got to be fucking kidding me right now. Listen, what he's making is none of your business, all right? He's bringing much more to the table, Richie. You're going to be very well taken care of. So just calm down. Do you need a ride, honey? Yo, Richie, hold on a second. We're good, right? Yeah, we're good, man. We're no, good. No, no, calm down, Richie. We're good. Calm down. We're good, we're good. Dallas, are we good? We're good. Hey, Richie, let me catch a lift, too, huh? All right, then. This son of a bitch, then. I should have listened to you. What did I tell you? He's you staring were... up the whole thing. Boy, oh, boy. You were right. I had a bad feeling now bad taste in my mouth and it wasn't pee. I kept waiting for Lord to appear and tell me to walk away. But it wasn't just me and my gut. Getting ready for a job always made me nervous, especially a job I've never done before. I don't know a thing about art, except that it's overpriced and it's much easier to move around when it's rolled up. I do know a few things about robberies though. If you bring a gun, there's a good chance you're going to use it. Hey, guys. Don't wait up for me. I got to go do some work thing, OK? Where are you going? I got a work thing I got to do, but, uh, the good news is, when it's done, we're going to spend a lot of time together. What thing? It's just a work thing. Hey, can I get another beer while you're up? I got you. Sam. Get out of here. I got this. All right. I just wanted to say goodbye, you know? Don't you think those girls have had enough goodbyes for a while? Yeah, I guess you're right. You can tell them when you get back. OK. Hey, uh, I wanted to thank you. For what? Just felt like the right thing to say. 
think about something to tell me. You tell me when I'm back, okay? Yeah. Love you, girls. Bye, love you. Bye. Be care that's me, okay? I got you. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Harvey, I'm here. All right, good. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. Check the back. All right. What's up? It's over, Poppy. What? I mean, over, done. He couldn't get it up. When? I don't know, like 10 minutes ago or something. Maybe. 10 minutes ago? You should have you should have texted. Why didn't you text? I ain't your fucking secretary. The fuck? I did my job. Damn it. Mark is on his way. How long I got? Five minutes, tops. All right. No, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. thing scaring this kid is the two scary men in the living room. Three scary men. Dallas, 
Talk some sense into him. He's got a gun with him. I think he's making perfect sense, Sammy. That's right. Now his father's gonna be here any minute. And we were gonna do this the hard way, right? But I think Omar will give us anything we want in exchange for Junior over here. What are you guys doing? Why are you doing this? Listen to me very carefully. I'm gonna take this painting. I'm gonna go home and I'll meet you there. Just like we said. Just like we said. Uh, we're taking all the paintings and we're taking the kid too. That's right, we're emptying Omar's whole fucking place. Then you and your dad could go home and have your fucking circle jerk. Okay. Okay. Don't hurt the kid. Okay? We're not gonna hurt the kid, Sammy. We're not animals. This isn't personal. What can I say? Money talk. <laughs> Send me the painting. Okay. Come on, hurry. Is somebody inside? No! It's okay, 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 okay. All right, you got the painting. I got the painting, I got the painting. No! Wait, wait right here. No. Wait here for one second. Go. Right, right. What the fuck? The difference between a good thief and a hack is simple. Greed. Christ almighty, what the fuck? Get greedy, you get sloppy. Junior! Jamar, go get my kid. Junior! I'm done, Bob. What? Michael's done, Bob. It's the buyer. I'm resting my, my phone. Okay, Bob. Yeah, if you call him. You call him when we get there. My call is 08 09. You have to call. Wait, Pops, are you okay? Yes. Fuck me, you got hit? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, Pops. Uh, Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Put your put some pressure on it. I love you, son. Stay with me. Stay with me. Fuck! Fuck, move! Fuck me! Harvey! Fuck! Harvey! Don't do this to me, Harvey! I love us. If you told me five years ago those three little corny words would be the most important words in my life one day, I would say, I can't wait. Now you know everything. I don't want to lie to you guys anymore. Can't lie to myself. Can't lie to anybody. As you know, the adoption got approved. You guys can be my kids now. And we can be a family. But only on one condition. You guys have to want me to be your dad. You're wrong, you know. About what? About that being the whole story. It's everything I swear. What she means is that this isn't the end. It's where it starts. I vote yes. 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 
I love you guys. Come here. You're the troublemaker. No. Yes, I heard oh, a lot oh, about oh. you, Rob. Come. Come. <laughs> Beautiful clips. You want hug? I want hug. Come in. Papa Silver. Pops, these are the girls. So beautiful. We have to teach them some. All mine never came after us. That's up. Turns out his son was worth a lot more to him than he thought. I Harvey always loved giving me advice. Sammy! Sammy, come on! Come on! But the best thing he ever told me was that it was time to let go. I love us. Coming.